Hey, how are you all doing? Welcome to this Microsoft Office 2016 Outlook help video. I've seen on quite a few forums that, um, that people are struggling to configure their iCloud account with the Outlook 2016 um, beta or beta, however you want to say it. Just if you didn't know, you can get the full Microsoft Office suite um, free while it's in its beta or beta phase, however you want to say it. Um, and so the apps that it includes is Microsoft Office OneNote, Word, Outlook, Excel, and indeed PowerPoint, but I've deleted PowerPoint. I had a quick look at it. I would never ever use it. I always use Keynote. I generally always use the iWork apps, but I just thought I'd have a look at it being it as it's 2016. So anyway, I'm not gonna take you through Outlook 2016. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to configure that troublesome iCloud account. So what I want to do is once you've downloaded it and you've installed it, go to this Outlook up here, go to Preferences, and then we're going to go to Accounts. Now you can see that I've got my account highlighted there and I've got a green light to say all is good. Um, the capital I, it just defaults to a capital I. Yes, I know it's annoying, but that's the way it is. It's free. Deal with it. So first and foremost, you would go to this little plus button down here and you would um, select other email. You would then put in your email address and your password. Once you do this, this little configure automatic checkbox down here will uncheck itself because it won't configure automatically for iCloud accounts. It will for Gmail accounts and I'll show you that in a minute, but it won't for iCloud accounts. So once you've clicked um, or deselect the configure, configure automatically and you click add account, you get to this page right here or this, this, um, this box right here. So you type in at the top iCloud, you can try it with a little I and a big C, it just defaults back to the capital. And then you put your name in and then you put your primary iCloud email address. So it has to be your primary iCloud email address. Obviously you can have up to three um, sub accounts on iCloud, but they all point or all direct to that primary one anyway. And then put your primary username in, then put your password in. Now here's where it gets a little bit, um, a little bit tricky. So you might want to take note of these. Um, select this override default port and type in this port 993. But select the override default port and type in this port 993 if it's not already there. When you close this and open it back up again, this override port will uncheck itself. Don't worry about it. On the incoming server, you need to call it imap.mail.me.com. Check this use SSL to connect box if it's not checked. Then on your outgoing server, you want to type smtp.mail.me.com. Check this override default port. Put 587 in the default port and then check the use SSL to connect. And it really is as simple as that. And then you can go and add another account. So let's let's say, for instance, we want to add a Gmail account. I'm going to exchange, uh, sorry, plus other email. And then I'm just going to type in my Gmail account details up here. I'm going to put my password in. Like I said, once you start typing iCloud here, so if I put iCloud right here, you see the configure automatically grays out and you have to configure it yourself. So you configure it manually. But as soon as I type Gmail, same for Hotmail as well, um, it allows you or the system will configure it automatically for you. So then put your password in. Click add account. So it will check your details. So while it's checking your details, you have a little orange light. Once everything's good and everything's all hunky-dory, you get this green light and the Gmail account will appear here on the left-hand side. You also get your full range of Gmail folders right down the bottom right here. Um, so it configures all of them. And then you can set your settings to configure email or, or whatever it is you want to do. However, however, um, how often it's, it searches for email or synchronizes for email. So I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions or any dramas configuring that iCloud account, um, just um, leave a comment in the um, in the comments below, and I'll, um, I'll I'll try and help you out wherever I can. So I hope this um, I hope you enjoy this video, and um, I'll speak to you again soon.